So Studio One Five is here. What is the big difference? Why should I care? Is it worth upgrading? Let's see. L up here from Creative Sound. Although it may appear to you that upgrading to Studio One Five may not be a big deal, but there's a lot of things that you guys may not know about. To some, it's obvious. To others, it it's not it don't make sense to do so however besides the announcement of sphere which is a, a new thing and the show page which is also an addition to studio one there are some things that i was able to discover myself and kind of do a comparison between studio one four and studio one five some things that are obvious and some things under the hood that you may not have seen or may not heard about. There's actually a long list of things that happen under the hood to make the production and things a lot faster. And that's the whole reason why I joined Studio One is to speed through my work pretty much. So my job right now is to show you just a few of those things. I cannot cover all of the things. I'll just take a moment and just show you just a teeny bit. So right off the bat, I don't know if this is a part of Studio One Five here, but this Persona's hub, I'm just not not noticing that so it, it may or may not have been an addition but you can see where personas is going there's a lot of plugins that's doing this with the hub and you can just download everything straight from here this is a good move this is what's up so now i can see everything that i purchased is right here really cool and everything else all right so looking at a screenshot i did a uh, comparison between studio one four and studio one five so studio one four is on the left and studio one five is on the right so just just so far looking at the advance i'm looking at some additions that they made and right here at the top half you can see that it says no overlap when editing events so according to personas you guys asked for this so the it's here supported no overlap when editing events there you go you can check it out all right so looking at the second half where we see event appearance now right here persona has gotten a little slick right here so as you can see right here to the left it says don't show event names and right here it says show event names all they did was flip this around so basically what wasn't checked here is checked here automatically real slick real slick and then there's additional two which is show envelopes on instrument parts and the last one draw event badges as you can see that's not here so in the preference if you are visiting the console page you notice that there's a few changes here as well they added colorize plugin here that and i'll show you guys that in a second but you can colorize your plugin the the, the strip part of your your plugin there so there's uh support there you can turn that on or off and in the appearance area there is more options for colorizing customizing your look to give you more control over your own inspiration so now we have plugins you know that strip at the top you can change it from dark to light or color and support for score and i'll show you that in a second you can change between light and dark there now we're looking at the outputs this is where your routing takes place and i thought it was pretty cool not much going on here but it, as you can see there is a a little indication here showing you what is in use which is I, I feel like that's a pretty cool move right there as you can see there's nothing here it's just the Q-Mix right here Q-Mix and then there's a use this is a whole new column that was added and looking right here I took a screenshot it's like a little strip view this is Studio One Four, as you can see, just like the way that it looked before it was you know very simple compared to what they did now and this is what it looks like now it, it is pretty much the actual channel strip the way that it looks in your mix view let's click on something i know for sure that was added if you click the wrench icon here if we go down here monitor mutes playbacks tape style that's something i've never seen before and it's probably something else i skimmed over and haven't realized but i told you i'm going to show you just minimalistic stuff also down here this listen bus i know for a fact that that wasn't there before so now we have the option to enable this listen bus here and the solo through as you can see it making changes already there's a, a a whole different track there that's that's added let's take a moment and look at the scenes here now the scenes is pretty cool this is for like more so your mix engineer this deal this is really cool i like this because i do a lot of mixing myself 
and the fact that we have scenes um there was some sort of scene it, it, it but it wasn't like this you know this this is totally better so now here's my scene one here's my second scene as you can see that my my levels change so i can have separate mixes for different scenarios um i added a bus channel here so there, there that goes i also added some mutes here so that's for that scene and i added a ox track which is something different something new i've never seen before so now we have ox channels so basically you can switch between different scenes it's right there available for you you also have the parameters where you can customize what you want to include in your scenes you can you know choose to, to have insert scenes q mix blah 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 you know what i mean you can do whatever you need to do and of course there you know you can collapse you know from here here's what i meant by the top strip or the heading or the header of the plugin as you can see it is colorized and it's colorized according to the channel so if i decide i wanted to change the color of this track here you know it it follows the color right okay now if i could show you the plugins basically you see that there has been a facelift on most of these plugins right if i pull in the beat delay here as you can see it everything is pretty much different it's everything has a brand new face right um the fat channel kicked it off the fat channel always you know it ever since it took on this new this new look it it, it has and i feel like all of the plugins is following the the look of the fat channel and this is where you get all of your your extra content your compressors your vintage stuff right and while i'm showing you guys is the cool thing about these is that um not only did they uplift the faces of these plugins they also did some extra work in as far as like how it's being uh, modeled after um, there is this thing called state space in here. And as long as you see the state space logo, you know that there is some type of emulation of the state space in here somewhere. So all right, here's the rotor. There is state space, which gives you a really cool sound. Let's see. Let's check out another one the red light distortion took on a total different new design as you can see here's tricomp it has the state space logo here i don't play with this plugin as much but you know just just for the fact that it's state space it's it's worth trying out because it's supposed to be close to the the true emulation of the actual hardware and so personas did a, a you know they went in and, and kind of, I want to say they redesigned or improved the sound. It, it you know the emulation of of the actual thing. That's that's really huge to me. Well, as far as the multi band, I I remember what the multi band looks like, and it's much simpler. It, it was a little, it was a bit more before, but let me let me show you something else with the with the EQ. Oh yeah, this is. Let me show you this first. This was something that I loved using. This was like being creative. And there, here's a uh, state space here. Um, different, different, cool experimental sounds that come out of here. And I'm excited about checking it out again and seeing what what what's different. Here's the analog delay, right? And as I as I told you guys, I want to show you the EQ. go back to the eq and, and what i thought was really interesting is something else that they added first of all here's your you know your low cut it's a dedicated button here now this 12 octave deal here is is game changer for me because now i it, i just felt like this is this helps me get to the issue a lot quicker because now i can use notes to find problem eq issues and nudge it out real quick um especially if it's an instrument like like uh, sometimes i know i deal with like 
I don't know, a piano or a road sound that, that may have that that irritating frequency. And you know, you know how roads sometimes it, there's that note that just stick out and, and and put you know punch you in the face. Well, I can find it easily. Like if I know the key that is, I could just go straight to it and not you know what I mean. It's just another way of like EQing and um this is this is pretty cool. I mean this technology is in some of the higher end plugins the you know eqs or whatever so it's cool to see that they add that in here and here's the x trim i don't use this plug anyway but it's cool to see how they brought all this together here's the limiter and as you can see something i've noticed i went live and pulled this up and i was like wait there is a mode a and b in here I, I don't think i've ever seen that before so yeah they you know some of these plugs they just went in and kind of add a thing or two in there you know it may not be a big deal to you but it's pretty cool to see you know updated plugins that don't look like studio one two you know dinosaur look and so everything is, is flowing as far as like the design of everything so while i have this plugin up i think it'd be a great opportunity to show you how this stuff works as far as the appearance so the plugin so you could change from dark to light or you can change it to be colored. Looks more like a gradient shade or a lighter color. I guess that's I guess that's what it is. So the difference between those two is right there. So let's apply that and see if we can see any difference in the other plugs. I actually like that better. It has more of a pronounced, like it sticks out more. Let's see what difference does that do to something like that. Okay, so for a retro design, it doesn't touch that. All right. So the next thing I want to show you guys is the score. So the score inside of Studio One is in addition. This this we didn't have this before. So this is pretty cool. I only have one instrument and, and it's really basic, but basically. Um, everything you can do inside of here it's just like the piano roll you know anything that's that's made you know immediately you can see it immediately so for instance if i want to add to that right and it, it's immediate and of course you can switch back and forth to you know your different views or whatever but score is in here and this talks to notion because this is a, this is a notion product but it's it's integrated inside here so you can go back and forth if if you're you know a composer and you into writing scores this 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 is fantastic and since we was on the subject of coloration and you know appearances making everything look pretty you can definitely get that look and i i think i like that that's that's a nice look i like that that's really cool now that's that's cool of course that's way more under the hood than i was able to cover in this video which is the reason why you should be subscribed to this channel like the video that helps me out a whole lot and over time i will release things as i uncover them i also realize that the deciding factor for some of you guys may not be strong enough for others it may but consider this and i know my studio one users that are already follow me already know what's going on every time there's an update by personas there's always a, a massive massive updates that happen so it's like it for a lot of people is worth upgrading even if what they're looking for is not quite in that list but rest assured that it's on its way because personas do listen to their people because a lot of these requests came from you guys if your request did not come through yet it will come at the end of the day these are just tools that help you make music and be proficient in what you do i know it helps me do what i do so i'm on board that's all i have for you right now my name is ella from creative sound remember music is art you the artist paint your picture stay creative without rules mm -hmm.